Hello. Today, we'll be showing you how to replace the motherboard in an Acer C720 Chromebook. Before you begin your replacement, you will need a few tools. An anti-static mat is recommended to prevent electrostatic discharge, which can damage electronic parts. A small magnetic tip Phillips head screwdriver will be necessary for this replacement. A spudger will also come in handy during this replacement. You can use either plastic or metal, whichever you prefer. If you have tweezers, you may also want to have them handy, as they might be useful when dealing with small parts. The first step in the motherboard replacement will be to remove the 13 screws in the bottom cover of the laptop. You may notice a sticker over one of the screws, which notes that if the seal is broken, the warranty will become void. If you choose to continue with the replacement, you can simply poke through the seal with your screwdriver to get to the screw. Once all 13 screws are removed from the bottom cover, you can use your spudger to go around the perimeter of the bottom cover, carefully prying it apart until it becomes loose enough to remove. Now that the bottom cover is removed, the next step will be to use your spudger to disconnect the battery cable from the motherboard. Next, you will remove the two battery screws. You can now remove your battery. There are several cables that need to be disconnected from the motherboard before you remove it. Start by disconnecting the cable running from the motherboard to the daughter board. Next, you want to disconnect the keyboard cable. Now, you will disconnect the trackpad cable. Next, you will disconnect the speaker cable. Next, you want to disconnect the first filter cable. The next step is to disconnect the LCD cable. Now, you will disconnect the second filter cable. Next, you will disconnect the fan cable. The next step will be to disconnect the two Wi-Fi antenna cables. Next, you will loosen the two fan screws. As long as they are detached from the keyboard assembly, you can leave them in the screw holes in the fan for safekeeping. Next, you can loosen the four heatsink screws. Just like you did with the fan screws, you can leave the screws attached to the heatsink as long as they're detached from the motherboard. Next, you're going to remove the two motherboard screws. Now, you will remove the SSD card screw. Now, you can remove the SSD card from the motherboard. 
Now, you can remove the motherboard from the keyboard assembly, leaving the heat sink and fan attached. Now, you can remove the heat sink and fan from the motherboard. The first step in the installation of your replacement motherboard will be to apply thermal paste to the CPU on the motherboard. Now, you will set the heat sink and fan back into place on the motherboard and slightly tighten the four heat sink screws. You will now set the motherboard, complete with heat sink and fan, back into place on the keyboard assembly. Next, you will tighten the four heat sink screws back into the motherboard. Now, you can tighten the two fan screws back into the keyboard assembly. Next, you will enter the SSD card back into the motherboard. Now you can replace the SSD card screw. Next, you will replace the two motherboard screws. We will now begin the process of reconnecting all the cables into the motherboard. Start by reconnecting the keyboard cable. Next, reconnect the trackpad cable into the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the speaker cable into the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the first filter cable into the motherboard. The next step will be to reconnect the LCD cable into the motherboard. Now, you will reconnect the second filter cable into the motherboard. Next, reconnect the fan cable into the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the two Wi-Fi antenna cables into the motherboard. Now, 
you will reconnect the cable that runs from the motherboard to the daughter board. The next step will be to put the battery back into place and replace the two battery screws. You can now reconnect the battery cable to the motherboard. The spudger may be useful in helping to plug it back in. Now that the battery is installed, you can snap the bottom cover back into place. The final step will be to replace all 13 screws that you took out of the bottom cover. You have now successfully replaced the motherboard in your Acer Chromebook. Nice job!